episode of Tea and Tamara. Lord God, help me. After you've gotten married, you have changed. No, I don't have to defend myself. Hear me, you've been talking for a very long time. There used to be the three of me guys. I just don't really know what happened. I'm actually I'm very no, 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 no. I know, that's why I'm going to explain it. Sometimes I think you dress like a politician's wife. Yes, she said. Oh, my throat is on fire. Oh, God, she's in the hospital. Vegas for a charity poker tournament, but I had to leave before the actual tournament to attend another charity event, which my husband Adam was a part of. What makes you think that you have to choose him over to me? Is family is always comes first. Yes, I'm family too. I know Tia was not too happy with me before I left Vegas early. I'm hoping it'll just blow over. Wow, Tia. Well, I'm really, really happy for you. Hello. I'd love to um, have brunch with you if you want to. Of course. I'd love that. We have a lot to talk about. Look at this meal. Do you ever have dreams about meat? Yes, I do. Not dreams, but I have moments where I'm like, oh my god, I would love to bite into that. Yeah. How did the tournament go? The poker tournament? Yeah. It was fun. I was really nervous. Yeah, because you weren't there. I'm sorry, Tia. My husband needed me. Tamara, I need you. Tia, hmm? there comes a point in a woman's life where she gets married. I know that, Tamara. And she has to make that transition. I know that. I you're, know you're that. You're making it very hard to, like, choose. You're asking me to choose. But you did choose. You chose, honey. I wanted to go support my husband because he needed me. You chose your husband over me. It's normal to do that. Well, let's just make sure that we don't have any more events that we have scheduled together that you'll have to bail out of. I would like that, but life happens. I'm a little upset that she left Vegas to be with her family. I'm family, too. So what did you like best about Vegas? I was able to let loose a little bit. Really? Good God. I'm so proud of this, Matt. You act like I never let loose. I'm just saying... You have changed because you're married. But deep down inside, I haven't. Why not let that out a little bit? There's Tamira still in there. It's like, hello, hello. There's nothing to me sexier than a mom who has not completely let herself go. Yeah. Sometimes you scare me, Tamira. You do. You get so caught up sometimes, like in the roles that you're playing. I feel like you're always trying to fix me instead of just letting me be. I'm not trying to fix you. I'm loving on you. This is loving on you. I think I am fine. Jerome, I'm so excited you're coming into town! Yay! You've become like my Skype buddy. You're like the only person I ever Skype. Very sweet. I cannot wait to get there. I have not met Aiden yet, and you know it's been... It's, that's unacceptable. I know. I can't believe it's been that long since you've been here. I mean, of course I want to see you guys, too. I mean, you know. I know. I miss my Jerome. My me, 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 me. party. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, Jerome, when are you coming in town? I'll be spending my birthday there. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, stop. laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll be there spending my birthday. You know, this is a big year, 36. I don't look like it. <gasps> oh, you definitely don't look 36. <laughs> oh, you know what they say, the good black don't say. I know, hey. You'll be 35, don't try it. No, I'm just saying that's four years from 40. You ain't have to tell me how good you act, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I always took it upon myself to, to make some plans. Because I want you and I want Tamir to come along with me. 
It is going to be exciting. It's something I've always wanted to do. I'm definitely not going to be joining you if you decide to go skydiving. It's not going to happen, just so you know. It's not skydiving. I just want you to know how much I love you. Do I seem like I'm talking fast? Because I am. If you hear that music, I'm just having a rehearsal, and you're slowing down my rehearsal. So I love you. Congratulations. Um, eat real soon. Smooches, deuces, bye-bye, peace, everything. Stop. Weirdo. Andrea, she's my best friend, and we go way back to our Pepperdine days. Go wave! Hey, how's Aiden? Uh, he's in the room sleeping now. Girl, I got him on the schedule. Wow, it's really, really good, and I'm happy for you. You've been, you know, doing a lot. Yeah, I've been working. It's been great. You good. know, moving up, having a good time. Do you have a boyfriend yet? <sighs> Are you dating me? I need to freeze my eggs. And <laughs> well, we need to get on. We need to get on this. Yeah, I'm tired of it. <laughs> but you look good. Thank you. And us doing Zumba together. I know. We need to. Well, you're so busy too. We can't get our schedules to work out. I know. You went to Vegas, though. I did, Andrea. How was it? It was good. It was nice. You know, I just let go and I had fun. Just kind of felt like it was weird that I wasn't even invited. I was just thinking that maybe Tia don't want me around, or... Tia's never said that. I just was wondering, because we used to be inseparable. It used to be the three of you guys. Yeah. Like, we used to take so many fun trips together and do so much. Every time we went, we'd go everywhere. It was the three of us. They'd get two rooms for us, and we'd all end up in the same room. I remember. And then we went to Orlando. We said, remember? Yeah, that was, was so, so much fun. fun. And Hawaii, we went surfing, and made you guys just cliff jump with me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we used to be like family, you know? It's true. Yeah. We were like family. Like ever since the wedding, I always feel like he assumed the worst about me, like I was trying to keep you away from her when that wasn't true at all. During my wedding, I chose Andrea to be my maid of honor because, frankly, Tia wasn't able to perform for duty. I would love to be your maid of honor. I just, I just don't want to cause any drama. I just don't want her to be thinking that I took her title away. I don't know how she's going to take that, you know? Family comes first. That's all I'm saying. What a lot of people don't know is that the wedding was not the thing that broke the Three Amigas. The Three Amigas was broken years ago. I don't understand why this is bothering Andrea now. I just don't really know what happened. Good I am. Fake triple. You getting too close. All right, shoot. Yeah, baby! Yeah! She shoots, and she scores. What do basketball players do when they score? They meme mug. Meme mug? Like what? Just look at you, you know. Yeah, that's how you do. <laughs> <laughs> so I had brunch with my sister yesterday, and, like, she's gotten really, really, really conservative. Maybe you can give me your opinion on this, too. I, I feel like Tamara has been playing the roles. Like, she got married, so she's, like, playing the role of a wife, and then now she has a baby. Yeah. Like, the housewife? Like, yes. She had a transformation within a matter of two, three, four, five years. Right? So I'm not the only one that's... I that's... remember. I used to be sleeping on your floor. Mm -hmm. And I look up, it's four in the morning, and Tamara's like, excuse me, Corey. <laughs> and I look up like, damn. <laughs> Tamara, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't remember That's that true part. story. So I'm not crazy. Tamara has changed. Corey sees it, too. She's not the same person since she's got married. It's like she's a Stepford wife. She's very like, my name is Tamira Housley. Tamira Housley, and I drink wine. Would you like a glass? That's Tamara. I'm just asking her to just let her hair down a little bit. Maybe I could get her to start reconnecting with the side of Tamira that's been dormant, dead, really, really sleeping. her to understand that just because you get married you don't necessarily have to lose who you were like she's out of touch with who she used to who she really is yeah i miss tamira as the sister that would just kind of go out and have fun a little bit did you tell her that oh god she's in the hospital oh
Especially exciting because A, hello, we're celebrating Jerome's birthday, and B, it's the first time he's gonna meet Aiden. What's going on? He's so handsome. Hi, Aiden. Hi. Here, Jerome, pick him up. Um, say hi. Uh, hi. Aiden, nice to meet you, buddy. Hey, hey. Aiden, we've had a whole lot of conversations. Make sure she's driving you crazy. But all you have to do is just listen to her talk. Watching Jerome makes me realize what a great dad he's gonna be someday. He's a natural. Jerome, you look younger. What did you do? Your skin. That's what's different. You got a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. You tell me I don't have a girl, Jerome. I mean, I talk to folks and stuff, but I mean, I'm. So, man, what the heck are you oh, doing? No, I was gonna ask you if you can tell that if they if 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 they hang lower. <laughs> Things that you put me through. <laughs> How do my boobs stay? Do they hang low or do they hang left? <laughs> my life. Ciao, Buonasera. Ciao. How's it going, good? Today? Good. I am so glad Jerome is in town. I don't want to seem like I'm the only one that thinks Samara has changed, so I have to start asking other people's opinion about this. So, yeah, it was nice and seeing Tamara, this new mom. It was just yeah. nice. Have you noticed that she's kind of, like, changed a little bit? Okay, let me just put it out there. I, I feel like she's changed since she's gotten married. She's kind of put on a little conservative cap and I'm just missing a little bit of that sass, you know, and that little bit of spunk that Tamara used to have. For marriage and children. Yeah. Like, Tamira, this, this thing, I used to call her Missy. I remember. Miss thing. She would wear, like, her, like, a shirt, and it'll just kind of, like, just be hanging off of her shoulder a little bit. I wasn't going to bring it up, but then she did. She could spice it up a little bit. And so you kind of see it a little bit, too, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like now she's almost a little bit like a politician. She dresses like a politician's <laughs> wife as well. <laughs> I don't think that a woman should lose herself at all in, in marriage or by being a mom. Tamira as the sister that would just kind of go out and have fun a little bit. I feel like she's not tapping into other facets of being a woman. I'll take your word for it. The yeah. only reason why I say this, and I'm going to be really honest with you, you don't want to be resentful for anything. Did you tell her that? No. Maybe I should. Let's toast to giving Tamira a little spice. Hi, Anna. Do you like this outfit? Yeah. You do? Ooh, I like the blazer, the leather, that's yes. Yeah. I want to look really good for Tia because she's having her pilot pickup celebration dinner. Oh. Yeah, so I'm really excited. The only thing is, I kind of feel weird, like my throat is a little bit like, it's, it's not a little, it's on fire, let me see. Okay, okay ready? Uh, 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 yeah, uh. you have like a white spot on the left side of your throat. Really? Is that the only thing you're feeling, though, altogether? Or do you feel uh, tired? Do you feel... I feel achy. Uh, body aches and all that stuff is a pre stage to, like, a really bad something. Really? Yeah. It seriously came out of nowhere. I know this is a big deal. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're feeling it now, especially the beginning stages, you have to knock it out before it gets oh, worse. because you're more... And you're more contagious. And I'm sweating all of a sudden. This is so weird. Okay, let me call. I'm getting worried because I have a son, and I don't want him to catch this. So immediately, I've got to get the sore throat under control. I get hot flashes, and my throat is on fire. And then I have a white spot on my tonsil. Mm, that sounds like it could be strep throat. Oh, God. Uh, how is this uh, do you have an urgent care near you? Yeah. Make sure that Aiden has his bath and he goes down. Okay. That 
seven thirty. Okay. And uh, I'll just text you to let you know what's what's going on. Yes, there is miso soup and then there's split pea. Which one do you want? Oh my god, miso. miso. How do we know? Thanks, guys. I really did miss you guys. No, we miss you. We had a good time. She was glamorous as usual. Did she wear a really cute small little dress? You know your sister. It wasn't small. It was very conservative, actually. It was small. You wearing a conservative it dress? She is conservative. Is not my conservative. Yeah. What's that look for? Well, Jerome and I, we had the same conversation that you and I had. You guys were talking about me? Well, we were just saying how sometimes I think you dress like a politician's wife. A politician's wife? Yeah. I don't have to have a certain outfit on to be sexy. No, 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 no. no. I'm just sexy sitting here like this, people. At least my husband thinks so. Well, he's well to. that's your husband. There are a lot of other people out in the world besides your husband. Your husband ain't the only one looking. Exactly. I don't care who else is looking. You yes, should you care. I just feel like, Tamira, if you just spice it up a little bit, I think that, you know, the fun Tamira would come back. I just really miss that side of my sister, who was just so much fun. She was always going out dancing, just the life of a party. She really, really was. Out of one through five, the fun meter, you're kind of like a one and a half right now. I thought I was a five in Vegas. Jerome, do you agree with the fun I feel part? like, do you agree with the fun part, Jerome? What she said. Jerome! Yeah. Jerome! I just had a baby. I'm feeling a little ambushed. I feel like Jerome and Tia are being really hard on me right now. 
You know, like, throw me a freaking bone. Well, speaking of Las Vegas, Tia. Yeah? Andrea was a little sad that she didn't go. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. She was thinking, like, oh, does Tia want me there? Is there going to be any tension? Well, why? I'm not the one that invited everybody to Vegas. Why do I have to invite Andrea? Isn't she, like, your friend? She's your best friend. That's so odd to me why she would just automatically think that. Well, Tia, it's because, you remember, we used to be close, all three of us, and we're not anymore, so she doesn't know why you guys aren't as close anymore. So she's thinking that you didn't invite her to Vegas because of me. Yeah, so to me, it was kind of like a bing, like kind of like a red little flag. This is definitely something that you guys need to talk about. Clear the air. That's what I'm saying. I don't have any issues with Andrea at all, at all, but I will help her figure out what the issue is and work it out because now knowing that this is kind of what's going on i don't want her to feel like this um so what are you guys gonna do for jerome's birthday i don't know what we're doing jerome's not telling me what we're doing well what i told you that it wasn't skydiving so i'm how convenient that you got sick but i'll tell you look at me jerome that's not fair yes it is why are you telling her but you're not telling me she ain't going it don't matter so well, now I can do twin telepathy and try to figure it out. She said you know. scrambler again. You know, I believe in that scrambler. Come on. All right, Bye. sister. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. We're on a dirt road, Jerome. There's a lot of dirt roads here. No, there's not. Oh, my God. Jerome, where the hell are we? Skull Canyon, Jerome? The hell? <laughs> I don't like the name of that. Name one good thing that happens at a place called Skull Canyon. Remember what you said? You didn't want to go skydiving? Yeah. I know. I hope this is not that, because it looks like it is. Jerome better not have tricked me. If I see one parachute or plane, I am out of here. It's the next best thing. It's called Ripline. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you are. Jerome, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Look, zip lining is terrifying to me because you are way up in the air, high up in the air, and if you fall, you could die. I just don't understand why these things are fun to people. Jerome, they have on helmets. All right, guys. Well, welcome to Skull Canyon. Come on over. Just step in those two middle slots in those harnesses. Pull them right over your shoulders. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. You got it. You can see those three poles in the hill. It's that yes, middle I pole. Think. So you're going to go from there to that far corner over there. Oh, my God, Jerome. I'm going to kick you behind. It's not going to be comfortable. I have this feeling. Yes. You did it. You know what I do when I come 
and pick something. Go ahead and do the dance. Mm, 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 mm. Good job. Thank you. Did you love it? It was fun. Oh my gosh. I did it again. I conquered this fear. I'm really happy that I actually got to do this with Jerome. I am. And you know what? I'm going to have to stop acting like a baby. There is a little bit of a high coming over something that you're very scared of. Would I ever do it again? Hell no. Happy birthday, Jerome. <laughs> Thank you. Hey! <laughs> You remember when we used to do everything together? Yeah. In college, it was always the three of us. And I remember when initially Tia kind of went her own way. Why does Tia affect you so much? I never knew why she stopped hanging out with us in the first place. So it's that question of, did I do something? What did I do? It's unfinished business, and she's your twin sister. I think she's receptive to talking about it now. I never got the real reason as well but then after a while i kind of just yeah. like you know i just got and as it. time I goes on her. like i said you get used to it and i just put up a wall I'm like okay she doesn't want to be my friend so i love her i'll support her if she needs me i'm here if not i'm not gonna force it so, honestly we'll just move on i guess i should get used to it i'm coming from a completely different place because i'm her sister mm -hmm. so i still see her yeah but just not in a three amiga like right. context which I do miss, but quite frankly, I've moved on completely. Right. Like, yeah. I never really told you this before, but because you haven't finished business with Tia, or you feel um, like, what did I do mm -hmm. all the time? And, you know, you're always talking about that. I felt like I just wasn't enough. That is not true at all. You're more than enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I just felt that in, but I love you. <laughs> I just get frustrated because I've let go of the fact that we're not the three amigas anymore. And I think for Andrea and I's relationship to continue to be what it is, I think it's imperative for Andrea to let it go. Andrea's enough to me. I think I need to be enough to Andrea. But I have to tell you something. What? Jerome and Tia said that ever since I got married and ever since I had a baby, Tia feels as if I am losing myself in this role of being a wife and being a mom. She's saying I always went out and I partied. Three or four years ago, you were a hot mess. You were so unhappy. If you were happy and going out, having fun, blowing off some steam, awesome. Do it. You were not happy. That's the difference. You were not happy and you were not yourself. Just helping you understand what I was going through. Yes. I mean, did you know I had an intervention? There's one specific thing that made me say, oh, I don't see myself being friends with Andrea anymore. You were not happy. That's the difference. You were not happy and you were not yourself. I do remember crying all the time. Every single night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is very true. I honestly was searching for happiness in the wrong places. I got drunk a lot. <laughs> I would party a lot. Yeah, I went to clubs at 4 a.m. I would have fun, but honestly, I would come home sad and miserable. Andrea, Adam, and my mom basically had an intervention. Tia thinks who I was when I was lost was the real me. That was not you. It was just, it was out of my character. This just brings back so many memories. I know. I think I take it for granted. We could have been doing our homework out sitting here. on the beach. But would we really do our homework, Anne? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you feeling? Are you nervous? I am, actually. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that... I don't know what she's going to say. Like, what if she does say? Well, it's just, I don't really like hanging out with you that much. I don't think Tia would say it like that. I'm nervous, too. I just hope this doesn't make things worse between the three of us. I'm just worried about what she'll say. You know, yeah, that's normal. Oh, there she is! Hey! You look so pretty! You look so pretty. Oh, my God! Thanks! You, too! You guys look beautiful. This is, like, the perfect location. <laughs> this actually reminds me of our Pepperdine days. I know! Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we've all been here. I know. Three of us together. You know how much I love you, and I love both of you.
you. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it seemed so weird for the past several years. And I understand, you know, people move on and do different things and have different interests, but it hurts because we went from being the three amigos and we were equally as close. What happened to make that stop? There was like never anything that happened. There was never a conversation. So that's why I felt like maybe I did something. I wish that I could tell you that there's one specific thing that made me say, oh, I don't see myself being friends with Andrea anymore. Maybe my question would be, why didn't you feel the need to kind of talk about it as soon as you... Well, I feel like I did. I mean, I, I tried. As soon as things started getting weird, I would always contact you and always invite you. And, like, you wouldn't show up or we'd make plans for dinner and you'd cancel. It didn't feel like you made a priority to see me. I was always the first one that you could kind of talk Really? About. That's what you think? And when your son was born, like, I felt like I don't get to be a part of that, you know? <laughs> what she's saying is, and I I'm actually very... No, 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 no. I know. That's why I'm yeah. going to explain. I'm going to explain not that it. Type of person at Tia, we're not we're saying not you're that type of person. You know what? Let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there. Right. The only thing that I do remember, mm -hmm. I felt that Tamira, whenever we would get into a disagreement, Tamira would kind of go to you about it, and then there was that loyalty there with that Tamira had with you. I think you're making assumptions about what happened between yeah. us. You guys were fighting all the time, and you would call me all hours of the night. I felt uncomfortable with that situation. Okay. It just, it, it became unhealthy yeah. for me, especially when you have twins, like my sister and I, who are extremely passionate with one another. I think it's healthy yeah. for us to have a go-to that's not necessarily shared. My mom would always tell us growing up, too, that it's it's very healthy for you girls to have your own friends. If you want to tell secrets to your one friend, how does that work if you're sharing friends? You never really feel comfortable enough to share secrets. You don't want to put a person in the, in the middle. I yeah. totally get that. And I think where I felt her is I worked so hard to make sure you knew how much I loved you, how much you knew how much I loved you, that I wasn't taking sides. But because you felt uncomfortable, you removed yourself. And I'm like, well, what was all that for then? And back then, when you had to handle things better, mm -hmm. we would have talked about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But now that we're grown, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. and we're talking about it, there's nothing wrong. Obviously, we have more in common. You have more in common with other people. Yeah. But I still love you. Yeah, and, and I, I still love you, you Anne, and I want you to know that. Yeah. And I do believe this as well. I, I do fixate and focus 110%. Right. So I remember around that time, I met Corey, and I was just so in love. Right. And Corey's the first boyfriend yeah. I've ever had in my entire life. He's the... You know, yeah. only man I've ever been with. So and I think I, I know, I know. But I think I got. I think what I'm saying is, focused on. I, I moved where he was. Right. And I became so focused. Like I said, it was like me and Corey against the world, right. and and that became my world. And that's the way I am now too. Like, okay. but I'm learning how to stop and smell the roses and and look at you know, uh, prioritizing and, and doing all that kind of stuff. So maybe you caught the beginning of right. a bad habit. Now that we're getting it out. I can see that. Yay. Let's talk to being so grown ass women. We're not going to be the three amigas anymore, but at least now, I think Andrea's going to be able to, to let this go and move on and, and, and find some closure. And I will still have my best friend. That's our new thing, Ann. We toast and we say, hey. you guys. Oh, eight and oh, this is when you were... Tamara. No, I'm staying right there. It's okay. I'm not... It's... Anyway, so, um, I just got back shopping, and I don't know, it just reminded me, you know, when we used to shop together, and then I would be like, yeah, you know, Tamira would wear this, or used to wear this, and it, it brought me back to how you used to be, and how you kind of used to dress and carry yourself in a way that was okay. fun. I don't want you to feel like I'm coming at you, or I'm attacking you, I or feel, I'm judging. I did feel though with you and Jerome saying, "Tamara, you need to dress this way. Tamara, you need to dress that no, way." It's not about that. Okay. I, 
guess what I'm trying to get to you, just because you are now a mom, yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to let yourself go in any kind of way. I'm not letting I'm not go. Yes. It was, I get what you're saying. So what I'm saying yeah, is, it's not about the clothes. It's what's inside. It's almost like you've kind of put on this persona you? or role. I'm not. Honestly, I'm just being me. I don't have to defend myself because no, I know I'm who I am. You know, I'm a very fun person. Yeah. I haven't seen it. See, it, it but I'm still me. that person. That's what you I want are to know. That person, but I do think that that person has been dormant. No, I'm seeing different sides of you than what I would see even before you were married. My problem with Samira isn't really about her clothes. Samira, before she was married, she was more spontaneous, more adventurous. She was very like this bohemian goddess. Before you're married, before you had kids, you kind of had a carefree attitude. I would like to go out dancing and have a girl's night and have fun with you. I want to see you just embrace that. Hear me, you've been talking for a very long time. I remember the Tamara okay, that was yeah. always me. out partying. Mm -hmm. When was this? I want to, I this guess. was, I'd say maybe four, four or five years ago. Four years ago, it's exactly, I know what you're talking about. Because I, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but when I was that person, mm -hmm. I really wasn't who I really am. I was searching. I was searching for happiness. I went to clubs. Yeah. I party a lot. Tia, I drank a lot. I yes, drank. I do remember that. I drank so much because I was masking something. I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I'm just kind of opening you into my world and, and maybe helping you understand what I was going through. I mean, did you know I had an intervention? You're just gonna love this. I look like a dork. I look like a who, unicorn. Can, who puts these on and, and looks you know like unicorns are? Let's bar. Ready? <laughs> Tia Mori pregnant. I thought about doing 
doing a military-based boot camp. I want to know if you can come and do it with me. Let's go! Come on out! This isn't Beverly Hills! Give me a warrior face! Ah! You're gonna go through the mud! You better... Oh, this is so mad at... You know that whole issue about Tia doing her show? Mm -hmm. She f me. Whatever you have to get off your chest, you need to do. It was not usually! That is not true, Tia!